love to come here. They're very friendly and they're very excited about what they learn. I love the attention that the kids get in the classroom. I love the ratio of, of students to teachers. I wanted my kids to feel safe and that is exactly what I felt when I came to the program. And the staff is wonderful and my children are very happy. Um, there are a small ratio of children in the class and a large number of teachers so he gets a lot of personal attention every day, um, which we like. Very open, very relaxed atmosphere. The amount of amenities within this facility is amazing. They have bathrooms in every classroom with an unbelievably stocked library, the gym, the indoor playground, the music program, the arts and crafts program, the hot lunch where I don't have to pack a lunch every day. This has been uh, the place that, that seems to really have the most just warm, friendly, Jewish, Hamish feel to it. And uh, we, we really love the atmosphere. This school blows away um, the amount of excitement that they able to generate in a child's perspective. I'm not as religious. Daddy's more religious. He was more conservative. And we agreed when we raised our children that this is what we were looking for for them. We wanted to give them a foundation. And they come home and teach me, which is really nice. I didn't grow up with a, uh, in a religious background. They get the information, but you could tell that it's done in such a pleasant, exciting way. I'm not a tremendously religious person. And we have a mixed marriage. Um, yes, I was a little concerned in the beginning that we may not fit in and um, we might not be observant enough for the school. And I, I really in no way ever felt that, that my family or I were not 100% accepted. My feeling is it doesn't matter how religious you are, your children are learning about their heritage. And that to me is the most important thing. We were um, not as religious, and but we didn't want religious education. And um, that's exactly what he's getting. He's getting the best of both worlds. So every way does something different. And that's OK as long as people are doing something. And that's echoed by the school as well. Um, so it wasn't anything that was too religious, it was just incorporating the religious aspect with the educational aspect, and you know, we're pleased with it. It's not too Jewish for us. No, not for us at all. My kindergartner, she is doing really well. She's learning words, she's coming up with her little sight words, and she really didn't have that, you know, preschool. She wasn't somebody who was reading early. She really just got her letters down pat, and she's so excited. The secular studies are really say competitive but rigorous in a good kind of way and he's learning he's learning and he's growing and he's reading and he knows his alphabet and he recognizes his letters and he's doing wonderful I, I've seen my son grow incredibly quickly everything about it between how they tie in with the arts and crafts and then the, the reading and the library program they do complete preparation and readiness he comes home with different types of artwork he does computers which is great they have every week um, and that's important um, when we were in a different nursery school that was an extra that you paid for it works at the level of our kids we have one kid who's bright and she's getting anything she needs and then the other kid is getting services from the school district and that works very well here and and he's growing up and suddenly reading and doing the things that he hasn't been managing you know he's he's becoming computer literate so they have library you know all the things that he's gonna do in elementary school so I feel that Aside from whatever I've done at home, this school program has prepared him tremendously. What I love about the faculty, truly, is that you walk in and everybody knows you and you know them and they're friendly and everyone knows your children and that to me is important. You also know the temperament of yeah, my they children. They certainly assessed our children very, very quickly early on, which was very comforting to see. They picked up the same traits that we would see at home. So that was very responsive to our needs. The relationships that they have with the, the, their teachers are um, quite genuine. And I can see how they know each student quite well and, and how to motivate them based on what the, the child needs. Always warm and you know, helpful to the children, but trying to help them to be responsible for themselves. They're wonderful. They're they wonderful. contact they're us. Great. They're fantastic. 
all the time, little things, just to let you know. They send us photos by email. Faculty is not only are they phenomenal educators, they are genuinely caring, loving, and sensitive people. They make this school environment a family environment. There's a website where you can see pictures of your child every week. One thing that I believe the school and the faculty encourages is for your children to learn at their own level and at their own skill, their own way, and they're not forced to uh, learn and be taught in the standardized way, which is a phenomenal experience for them. I actually met Rabbi Teldon at Gun Israel summer camp that's also here in the summer, and he was helping some little boy onto the bouncing castle who was crying, and even though he had a big beard, this little boy just looked after him and took his hand and he helped him into the jumping castle, and the kid was thrilled, and it was like, now oh, that's a match. That's just someone who sets example. When we first came to this school from another school, that was the one comforting thing that I knew that whatever my, the needs of my individual children might have, I knew they were in good hands. They were a driving force for us to come to this school. Definitely gave strong credibility of who they are in this community for 30 years. We had our kids at uh, a slightly more expensive Jewish day school before. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this has actually been better financially for us. If the program is difficult to afford for you, they have a financial aid that you can apply to. School supplies. Oh, yeah. We don't have to do school supplies. I didn't come in with 50,000 boxes of tissues, paper towels, crayons, and everything else. They do all that for us. The kids appear to all have the same thing, so there's no competition, which is very nice. And snacks and lunches, we also don't have to worry about. Very, very reasonable cost effectiveness. So definitely economically very organized from a financial perspective, very impressive on their contracts, on their, um, on addressing the financial commitment and needs of the school. The advantages that this school has, which other schools don't have, is within that price, in the older school, there is transportation included, and with the early childhood, as well as the Jewish Academy, you're getting a hot lunch every day. That is included in your price. And they also are very reasonable as far as payment options. You know, they make it uh, accommodating to everybody. So if it is a little tight, they'll put you on a payment plan and they make it work for everybody. And they're comparable to everyone in the area. I have lots of mommy friends that we made throughout being here and my children have play dates all the time. I can't keep up with their friends. The kids have had zero problem making friends, transition from a different school, I, I haven't, they, no skipping of any beats. Kids were very, very easy. Um, we've had the luxury of meeting, of knowing a couple of parents coming to this school, new to this school, and we've met a couple of families from this school. I have to tell you, both my kids are thriving, and I truly mean that. They're doing great. There are a lot of activities that they have here for dads and children, um, other activities for family. There's a, a community here, a sense of community among the parents, and definitely with students. The rabbi has invited everybody over to his home for certain holidays. If you'd like to come, that's great. If you don't, that's great. I made friends with their, some of their parents at parties and uh, holidays, and here we see them. So I know a bunch of the parents on a first name basis, even though we live a half an hour from here. The other parents and families I find to be very warm and welcoming. Brandon wants a play date every single day with friends from school, so people meet in the playground after school. So the, the friendships that my son has made in preschool, I think, will last him forever, and as well as the adult friendships that we've made with the parents.